Good morning. I'm Andrew Franklin. And I'm Andrew Strincioni, and this is the WHBS TV Friday Morning News. Last month, Westlake celebrated the opening of our brand new elementary school. Hey, this is Mason with WHBS. I'm here with a bunch of kids from the new elementary school. Guys, how do you like the new school? Great. All right. Well, physically, this building is significantly better. It's bigger, we have more space. It's a lot easier to work together um, and make some um, plans together and share resources. I like um, my teacher. Well, there's new things in the playground, like spinny things. The kids are starting to learn the routines, and they're starting to feel very, very comfortable um, within their learning environment and actually navigating the new school. It's been a nice transition, and it's a beautiful building. What's one advantage as to having one school as opposed to four other elementary schools? I think it, it brings all the students together, for one. It brings the community together. The kids are very excited, and I think they love having this um, world language. Now, like, they are going to have Spanish and French. What is the best thing about this new elementary school? The libraries, the Chromebooks. I like there's a lot of new kids here. Math. The space is amazing. We have storage that we never had before. It's mm -hmm. air conditioned. It's just clean. Mm -hmm. It's new. The other thing I really love about the new school is as a third grade teacher, I now have 10 third grade teachers that I'm teaching with. So I have more people and more resources. And it also provides a more consistent education. So for example, when we had our four schools going, even though you had Bassett, Holly Lane, Hilliard, and Dover, teaching the same curriculum, you didn't have the teachers working together. And so when you have an entire first grade team working together, focusing directly on first graders, it gives you so much more experience in there. We have wonderful teachers in every grade level, and now they get to learn from each other. How are you guys liking the new elementary school? A lot. A whole bunch. I love that there's separate hallways and a bigger gym. Art class. Do you like this better than your old school? Equal. Are you a senior trying to get recognition? Well, here's one way to do it, but there's another way. A STEM diploma. What is a STEM diploma? It's a diploma through the state of Ohio that recognizes rigorous coursework in science, technology, engineering, and math. The students will need to show that they have taken five years of math and five years of science, including two advanced sciences. Um, they also need to have two years of tech or engineering, um, as well as their regular graduation requirements. They'll also then, having met those minimum requirements, then they'll reach out to Ms. Barth um, to set up some field experience and some other things to meet that final requirement to get the diploma. Who is a STEM diploma for? I think any student who has focused their academic courses on science, technology, engineering, and math is a great candidate, but at this point we especially want to focus on our seniors because of that field experience component that needs to be completed before graduation. What are the benefits of a STEM diploma? Primarily acceptance into college. It's a way to set themselves apart from other students, especially in those STEM um, careers. Uh, so if they're thinking about pursuing doing a program at a university in something like, you know, going into medicine or they want to be a software designer, having this STEM diploma really sets them apart as somebody who has been thinking about this all along. This is targeted for seniors right now, but I, I do want juniors thinking about it because when they start thinking about class registration for next year to really consider and be intentional with some of the classes that they're signing up for. Um, specifically with those tech um, and engineering classes, we have amazing programs and classes here. Where do you go to find out more? Great place to start will be the counseling website. Um, we're going to have a graphic on there that has all the information. Um, if they're wondering if they have the requirements because maybe they don't know what an advanced math is or an advanced science, then they can come talk to their school counselor and we'll do the credit check with them. And then Ms. Barth will be a really great second stop to really talk about that field experience, some of the extra things they need to do in addition to their coursework. This is Ryan Rogozinski with Demon Varsity Sports Update. Girls golf, 10 and 9. Boys golf, second in sectionals. Girls soccer, five, four, four. Boys soccer, four, three, four. Girls tennis, 13 and six, third in conference. Football, zero and five. The girls cross country team took third at the Vermilion Invitational. I also got a chance to talk to the girls volleyball team to see how their season's been going. We're 11 and six overall. Which puts us at fifth in the conference currently. Saturday we play Avon. Tuesday's our senior night against Lakewood. 
and then we start sectionals in a few weeks. So what is your responsibility as captains? Um, being the only senior, I have to be a big role model and leader and make sure everyone's staying in line. Staying positive, keeping everyone together on the court. Students that are not in an AP course but would like to take an AP exam, please see Mrs. Litton by October 15th. The following colleges will be at Westlake High School next week. Monday, Damien College, Savannah College of Art and Design, Binghamton University. Tuesday, Indiana University, University of Michigan, Heidelberg University. Wednesday, Bennington College, University of Tampa, Johns Hopkins University. Thursday, University of Finley, Kent State University, Marietta College. That is all for this week. Don't forget to check out WHBS TV on YouTube or WOW Channel 18 and at t Channel 99. This has been Andrew Franklin and Andrew Cerencioni with the WHBS TV Friday Morning News. Love you. Bye.